Uh, hi everyone, so this is my vlog too and it is all about ArriveCan and on my first vlog I have discussed my experience of traveling from India to Canada and what were the questions that Canadian government has asked me and uh, why Switch Health Kit was given to me. So those things I have explained on that video and I'll share you the link in the description of this video so that you can watch it later. So here I have just made some of three or four slides just to explain you what is arrive can and then i'm going to cover how you have to log in and register and fill all the information while you are coming to canada so what is arrive can so arrive can is basically the travelers information that canadian government needs from you it is just to make sure that you are safe in canada and you are also keeping safe canada so so when you fill this information what happens is the public health official from the Canadian government either will call you to ask whether you are safe in your the place where you are going to quarantine and secondly they will come to your house just to check why how you are staying and whether you are staying with some other persons or not so I will share you those questions as well but not in this video but in different video because I have uh, my own experience and even I will share my brother's experience who was also who was also quarantined on some place in Toronto because I am in uh, Alberta and he is in Toronto. So there were two different questions that the Canadian officials have asked us on the different different days. So now let's begin with my slides. So this was my first slide that was about arrive can and this slide just basically uh, talks about what are the main topics that I'm going to talk in this video. So here the main topics would be like the travel requirements, I, uh, whether you are keeping safe Canada or not and whether you are complying with the quarantine act and if you are traveling or entering Canada by air or land then what you have to do and how to use uh, basically the arrive can app. And here just to give you a simple uh, picture that if you don't abide by the rules of the quarantine act then the maximum ticketing cost will be around seven lakh fifty thousand dollars with prison and there will be some additional ticketing cost as well so let's go to the next so if you are traveling by air or land on or after feb 22nd and 21 then you have to uh, submit some additional detail that is your three day hotel confirmation so once you submit that then you have to take a printout of your arrive can or you can show to the immigration officials uh, from your mobile as well and this is how you can fill your arrive can app it is either by a mobile app or by a desktop so in my case in this video i'm going to share how you can fill your arrive can app via desktop so let's go to my desktop and here i have just use my google browser so you can also use your own and then you have to just type this keyword which is arrive can and open this first link and then you can see that you can download this arrive can app in your app store that is apple app store you can also download it in your google android app and then you can sign it in the arrive can online so in this case i am going with the third option that is sign in using the arrive can app so here it is the privacy statement so it basically to summarize it says that you have to abide by the rules of the quarantine act and here you have to log in to arrive can or if you don't have any login credentials then you have to create an account so here i'm going to just go to my video and here as you can see that uh, i will just show you how i have logged in and how i have created an account so here you have to fill your email address your password and then you have to confirm your password and then you have to click on create account button so what will happen is after that there will be a verification code which will be sent to your email address and then you have to copy this verification code so just copy it and paste it in the verification code field and here there are nine steps as you can see step one to step nine that is entry into canada and this is the travel form that you have to fill 
So in my case, as I was entering Canada by air, so I will choose the first option. In your case, if you came via land, then you have to choose the second option. And if you are coming via water or marine or some kind of boat, then you have to choose the third option. So in my case, I will choose entry by air. And then you have uh, this step two, which says that whether you have uh, taken COVID-19 test in your home country or not. So just say, and just say yes, and you have to acknowledge it. So just, and after acknowledging, just click on next. So this is the step three, which says that whether you have uh, COVID or not, like in 14 to 90 days. So just say, uh, no, and click on next. So this is the step four, which says that uh, a molecular COVID-19 test will be uh, done uh, when you land Calgary or when you land your inter any of the international airports within Canada. So you just have to acknowledge it. And whether you are exempt from travel. So there are certain uh, persons who are exempt for travel, uh, but in my case, and in your case also, many of the students who would be traveling, they have to just click on no and then click on next. And here, what is the purpose of your travel? So it can be family reunification, it can be foreign worker, either you are a study uh, or international student, are you studying US, Canada, cross border student, or you are on compassionate grounds or another helper. In my case, since I was a foreign worker, so I will choose foreign worker option. In your case, you can choose either study or any other options. So here it will ask you for the step sixth, which is like enter your flight information. So you have to fill all your details and then click on next. And then here it will ask you for the traveler's information that is your details about the document, your identity. So you have to fill all these details. So in my case, since I was carrying a passport with a valid visa, so I have chosen passport and I have filled all the details. So just to make sure that these are not correct information and these are just uh, random numbers that I have filled. So don't think and don't use this information in any of your videos. So since I have filled my traveled information, this was my step seven. And if you are traveling with uh, your family, then you click on add another traveler and you have to fill their details with their identity type. So this is step nine, which says that you have to provide your primary mobile number so that the Canadian government officials can call you. So this is a very important step. The reason is that if you give your primary mobile number, let's say that if you're coming from India and you are giving your number as plus nine one and uh, your mobile number. So in that case, what happens is uh, I face the similar situation 
uh, so none of the Canadian uh, government employees were able to call me. Even though I was on international roaming, but they were not able to call me. I'm not sure why it has happened. So, but I have also given the secondary phone number of my uh, colleague. So he used to get calls and he used to tell me what Canadian uh, government officials are asking. So either they will send you an email. So most important is email. So you, first of all, you will get a call. If you are not getting a call, then make sure you check your emails. then it will send the data and finally you have completed your step nine and then you have to complete your quarantine plan. So basically this is your quarantine plan. Uh, so let's click on next. And here it says that whether you have an accommodation for 14 days or longer, just say yes, you have. And second is like, this is all the quarantine plan questions. So step two of quarantine plan is, can you avoid all contacts with other people in the household with whom you did not travel and have no guest? Say yes. And step three is necessity. So will you have access to the necessities like including water, food, medication without leaving quarantine? Say yes, click on next. So are there at risk people at the location where you plan to quarantine? So at risk are those who are at risk for more severe diseases. So like are there 65 years old people have underlying medical conditions, have a compromised immune system. So I think just say no and click on next. And is there a person at the location where you plan to quarantine who works or assist in a facility home or workplace that includes at risk for population. So you must make sure that at least you will have some colleague or your friend who can assist you. So just say yes and click on next. So here is your place of quarantine a group of living environment or does it currently house different families? So it's up to you. Uh, in my in my case, I think it was no. So I clicked on next and then mandatory hotel pre booking. So this is important that whether you have booked your uh, three nights at a government approved hotel or not. So in my case, I have booked that hotel. So I have clicked on yes. And then it will ask for your booking reference number. So when you book a hotel, it will give you a confirmation voucher code. So that voucher, ref uh, that voucher is your reference number. So you have to just fill that reference number in the column enter booking reference number. So for example, if I've shown you here that this is my hotel booking confirmation and on the first line after the date, you can see trip reference, reference is the reservation. So this is, is, this is the voucher code that you have to fill. And then you will send the data to the immigration officials. So now it is asking what is the full address of the place you and the traveler listed in the submission plan to quarantine. So here you have to mention the correct address because in this address, the Canadian public health officials will come just to inquire whether you are uh, staying at the place where you, what you have mentioned in your arrive camp. So this is very important. So fill it accordingly. So in my case, it was a hotel. So I have chosen hotel and I have filled all the details. And then you have to just click on next. So this is, I believe, uh, a self-assessment, whether are you or 
any of the traveler listed on this form experiencing any of the following symptoms that is fever and cough and fever and difficulty in breathing just say no and click on next and this is the final stage where you have completed your arrive cam uh, form and an arrive cam receipt is has got generated so here what you have to do is you have to print this so the best way would be to print it and keep it ready uh, and then show this uh, to the immigration health officials along with the proof which you have filled in this form for example you have filled a three day hotel quarantine so you have to show them the hotel confirmation uh, print out uh, second one is like the where you where you are staying so for that you have to fill your you have to show them the airbnb or uh, the your accommodation place and so this was the receipt that will get generated and you have to just print it or you can show this uh, uh, to the immigration officials so i believe uh, uh, this was it like how you will fill your arrive can and if you have any questions you can always comment and you can uh, ask me any of those questions so here uh, this was in vancouver airport uh, which i saw a beautiful bicycle so i just wanted to share you this bicycle and who has done this so it was done by david tumble thank you for watching my video and have a great day ahead